in one of my videos I addressed the difference between education and institution and how and the intersection between these two. I said education and institution, that is college university, are not the same thing. They complement each other, but they serve distinct purposes in a student life or in our life. But I was I just wanted to talk about the importance of education because it's very crucial that we understand these importances so that it makes people more aware why they should be educated. First of all, we said that education is an enlightening experience. So it is something that you gain, do I say you gain knowledge of? So if you go to uh, institution to learn mechanical engineering or you even go to a workshop to learn something, IT or whatever, you're gaining an enlightening experience and you're being educated. The difference is, is it formal? That is, you do obtain this from um, or a university or a college or did you obtain the certificate or the degree or whatever it is, the knowledge from an informal um, approach. So. These are two constructs of education. Nonetheless, education is indeed a benchmark for success, not just for students, but for every individual out there. And some of, some of the reasons are, one, there is something about education gained through an institution or a college. Here you have trained lecturers, trained tutors, who have gone through that process to be prepared to impart you with relevant knowledge to tools, the teaching, the tips to propel your success. So apart from the fact that you have tutors who are there to support you and help you become successful, individually there are all other importances and significances of education which are far too many times misinterpreted or actually forgotten or not even discussed at all and some of which are number one being critical being critical critical examination critical analysis critical thinking is one important factor and important significance and essentials of education. Being critical, being a critical thinker, for instance, serves you the platform to be very open minded, avoid being biased, avoid thinking from only one perspective, from one viewpoint, having various viewpoints, but also having a justification for your viewpoint. If you want to argue as a critical thinker or a critical analyzer, you argue from various viewpoints, from various various perspectives and inferences without having to be biased, to be in favor of one over the other. You are able to distinguish between what you have read from your own logical reasoning, the reasoning that you've applied into the subject that you're you know, basing your argument on. And this is one of the importance of being educated. Another importance is being a realist. I call myself a realist. I don't see myself as a feminist. I haven't really dove into that subject. And I wouldn't identify myself with something that I am that I have absolute no knowledge of or I have limited knowledge of that area so i wouldn't identify myself as a, as a feminist because i i haven't really been able to understand the theoretical and the opinion to that particular subject but what i do know is being realist critical realist is an opportunity for everybody to grow because you understand that what you see is what you get you understand that if you put in works you get results if you don't put in work you don't get results a student being critical realist, and especially those students who always come across as being disadvantaged, if you're a critical realist, you understand that what is not easy for you to get, perhaps it's not easy for others to get. So even when you are asking for help, you ask with that knowledge base and you are able to appreciate any little anyone help you with. I find it very amusing that some students beg now, but they beg from a, from a point of authority. 
um, I really desperately need your help right now. Anything would do, anything like 50,000. Why are you being specific? That's not, that's being authoritative. But if you are a realist and that is something that you gain through being educated in a formal institution, you would, you would have seen that when you read articles or test book, they are giving you what you pay for. If you bought the book, they're giving you knowledge. If you don't buy the book, you don't get the knowledge. So you're being realistic. And when they're portraying their knowledge to you as well, you can see the works. They're not giving you something based on the assumption. They've done the research and they're giving you the works, the outcome. So they've put in the works to give you the outcome. And if you begin to read, the more you read, the more you begin to see that it reflects in your own life. And that is another significance of being educated or obtaining um, education from a formal institution, from a formal platform, institution, university, college, whatever, school, whatever, but being educated. Another reason why or importance of education or being educated is logical reasoning. Have you ever come across um, um, you know, people in an argument and you feel like, what the heck are they arguing about? When you were educated, you really know exactly when to argue and your, the, should I say the foundation of your argument, what are you basing your argument on? Education gave you this element of reference and acknowledgement, but you apply your logical reason. And what do I mean? You are you know about something and you've read about it. You've already knowledge in that area. Maybe someone said that and someone said that, but these are not just assumptions, they are facts, they, are of, they, they have references to them. You can then apply your logical reasoning to what you have read, to, 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 you know, to represent or to present your argument. People will listen to you because you have references to your inferences, but they can also see where your logical reasoning come in, where you have applied your own logical reasoning to, to works. And that's something that you gain through uh, education. Otherwise, you just go out and you argue like an empty barrel. Because in, in, in an institution, when you're doing assessment or finding your budget, whatever, this, this is a concept. All right, critical reasoning, logical, uh, critical thinking, logical reasoning, references, inferences, and so on and so forth. This is what you learn. And this is something that you can learn and actually apply in practice. You know, some students say, oh, I don't know why I'm going to school to study this. When I work, I don't get to apply this. No, that can be your that can be due to the structure of the institution. For instance, if you study in the UK, there's absolutely no reason, you would, no way, you would not be able to apply what you learned in practice. There is a direct correlation between what we learn and what we practice. There's, there's a connection, there's an intersection here. And this, uh, like I've said to you, is some of the areas where you can actually put into practice what you've learned from school. And this is, again, being educated. You can't get it from not being educated. And then finally, and I say finally because it's one of the importance of education that is very much less talked about. It is part of confidence. You know, like some girl says, wearing heels make them confident. Actually, being educated gave you confidence that can never be measurable, invaluable. Why? Because you are of substance, but not just hail substance, you are of intellectual substance. You feel very confident and proud of something that you have learned and you are able to put in practice. You feel very confident about that. It reflects in your approach, in your communication, in your interaction, in your dealings. Confidence, confidence and confidence. Because you are able to apply the impact, the implication and implementation to so many things in life, you walk very tall even if you are flat. And that is a very important aspect and essential of education. I hope it helps. Take care. Bye.